Welcome to apps. Then and now, type, table, and talk. We type letters and keep track of numbers with pencils and tables, and talk and present with flip charts. Electronics improve all these, but also make new challenges. Let's look at four apps that change our lives. One, type letters. At first, people write letters by hand. Later, the typewriter is invented. Letters are neatly typed, but mistakes or typos are hard to fix. Also, only one copy is made at a time. Next, using carbon paper, a few copies are made at the same time. This is called CC for carbon copy. Today, we use computers with word processing softwares to type letters, make changes, add multimedia. We can print letters on printers. We can also electronically send our letters around the world in an instant. We still use CC in our letters and emails to mean who we send a copy to. Two. Spreadsheet tables. Long ago, people draw boxes on clay tablets to show how much grain is traded. A thousand years later, people use pencils with paper spreadsheets to track business. Data is recorded in tables with cells, rows, and columns. Multiple spreadsheet pages called ledgers are linked together. Mistakes are hand erased and updated across multiple paper pages. Next, People make improved spreadsheets on computers. Data cells have automatic functions and updates. Wow! No more erasing many linked ledger pages. While computer spreadsheets fix many problems, there is a caution. People are responsible that the data is correct. This bank lost billions of dollars due to spreadsheet errors. Today, we use computers to organize data in online spreadsheets. We use them to make reports that slice and dice data so we can make sense of it. We still put data boxes called cells. We manage the data in tables with rows and columns. 3. Databases A database stores and manages large amounts of info. At first, handwritten records are stored in folders and filing cabinets. Later, computers store digital info in databases. Examples are bank accounts, doctor-patient records, and store inventories. We can use our credit cards and ATMs because of databases. As a negative, security is a concern. Huge data leaks and spills can steal our personal info. But positively, our online activities are enabled by databases. We search, email, Pay, play, and watch all with databases. Every day, millions of terabytes of data are created. Internet info is stored in huge data centers. Today, we data mine this mountain of information. This is called big data. It finds trends and makes predictions. Every day, we still use files and folders in digital databases. Our searches in internet databases give us something to talk about. 4. Presentations People talk in presentations to inform their ideas to audiences. Long ago, people tell stories with pictures. Much later, people present with flip charts, slides, and projectors. Also, orbs. Then, plastic view foils and overhead projectors show presentations. Next, people make charts that are printed on plastic view foils. Overhead projectors shine the data on screens. Once the presentations are over, all the papers and plastic foils are thrown away. Big waste. Later, computers connect directly to projectors. This saves waste. Yearly, People show billions of computer presentations. Today, computers connect directly to TV screens without projectors. We still say that our cyber presentations have charts and slides. To close, 
It is interesting to see the origins of apps and how we use them today. From typewriters to cyber letters, from pencil numbers to connected tables, from handwritten pages to linked databases, from view foils to computer charts. Software apps significantly improve our lives. I wonder what the next apps will do. See the catalog for more Alfred books. Printed copies are also available on Amazon. Over 2 million free Alfred ebooks have been downloaded 